It's no secret. Students with healthy minds and healthy bodies have the energy to come to school and absorb the knowledge they've been given and to retain it. What they put in their mouth has a huge impact on whether or not they can tap into their potential energy, which they all have. Hopefully this video series and the lessons that go along with it will inspire gardening on campuses all across America and the world. Slowly but surely, the movement is happening. There's gardens appearing on campuses all over. It's a slow and steady process, but if we keep building in the future, gardens will become part of the academic structure of every institution. We're starting with broccoli. That's right fan favorite for years, one of my favorites, and a staple in my diet. First off, broccoli is going to take a long time to mature, so be patient. It'll be well worth it, and it's going to pay off, because once you harvest the main head of the broccoli plant, it's often going to keep producing smaller side shoots that can be enjoyed for months to come. Broccoli is a sun-loving, cool season crop that's best planted in spring or fall. Here's a guide to the best time to sow your seeds. You're gonna to wanna to note, this guide is for Arizona residents, so the frost dates and the moon dates are gonna differ from your home. Don't worry, I'll put a link in the show notes that'll get you the information from where you live. High temperatures are gonna affect your broccoli head. That's the harvesting part. So you wanna plant, as I said, in the spring or the fall, and you wanna hope it's harvesting before the temperatures get too hot. The cool thing is, broccoli seeds are capable of germinating in temperatures as low as 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius, but ideally the temperatures are a little warmer. That'll speed up the germination process. For spring plantings, you can actually start the germination process two to three weeks before the last frost date. If you're doing it indoors, it can be as much as six to eight weeks before the last frost date. For fall plantings, it's best to plant the seeds when it's warm, 85 to 100 days before the first frost. Some of you may not have been gardening for years. Maybe you have some packages of seeds lying around and you're wondering, are they still good? Do they expire? Or should I get some new ones? Got a lesson for you in the show notes below. It's using the scientific method. It's gonna help you determine, do seeds expire or don't they? Enjoy that one. The next big step, where to plant the broccoli. It's gotta have a lot of sunlight. I'm talking six to eight hours a day. And the soil needs to be fertile, moist, and drains well. The pH of the soil needs to be between six and seven, slightly acidic. Now, in the link below, of course, I've got a way for you to test your soil pH. Use that link and that'll put you in the right direction. To increase the fertility of the soil where you're planting, work in about two to four inches of compost or manure into your soil. And of course, I got a link for how you can make your own compost. I do, it's great. It cuts my garbage in half easily. I love it and it's all natural. No chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, simply organic. Also, if you're trying to decide if you want raised beds or sunken beds, I've got a few videos below that'll give you how-tos and the benefits of each variety. The three key nutrients in soil. Can you guess which they are? Potassium, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Now broccoli is gonna really require nitrogen and phosphorus to thrive. Here's a tip. Broccoli plants contain both male and female parts, but they don't self-fertilize. So you wanna plant at least two flowering plants nearby. This is gonna assure seed formation. But beware, bees cross-pollinate with other brassica. So you wanna isolate these varieties. The distance is gonna be at least 1,600 feet to be safe. But what's wrong with brassica, you ask? Aren't these the cruciferous brethren of broccoli? They should make good companions, but they don't. Not in the soil, so keep them away. Next. How to plant broccoli in your soil. For a deeper dive on soil, click on the link below for the lesson on soil nutrients. It's a good one. If you're starting the seeds outdoors, you want to go into the soil about a half inch deep and keep each seed about three inches apart. 
Once the seedlings reach a height of about two to three inches, you're gonna to wanna to thin them to a distance of about 12 to even 20 inches apart. If you start your broccoli seeds indoors, about four to six weeks after you do that, transplant them outside. They're gonna have about four to five leaves on them at that time. You're gonna to wanna to plant these seeds about 12 to 20 inches apart. And the hole should be as deep as the containers that the seeds were in when they were inside. Space the rows of broccoli about three feet apart. If you put them closer than that, they're gonna produce smaller main heads and more secondary heads. At the time of planting, you're gonna to wanna to water your broccoli well. Oh, and a few more plants you don't wanna plant by broccoli. Strawberries, tomatoes, and bean poles. Broccoli plants are gonna thrive in conditions outside that are about 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. If you do go fertilizer, make sure it's organic and it's a low nitrogen fertilizer. I avoid fertilizers. I like to use the compost and the manure the all natural way. You're gonna to wanna to keep your soil consistently moist throughout the whole growing process. You're gonna want about an inch to an inch and a half of water per week. Oh, here's a tip. Don't get developing broccoli heads wet when they're growing. That'll encourage rot. Broccoli roots are very shallow, so try not to disturb them. And you wanna suffocate the weeds with mulch. There's a link below for seven types of mulch. Check it out. If you're concerned about pests, which most of us are, there's a link below for where to get row covers. Once you've harvested the first head of broccoli, ah, oh, what a moment. You wanna promote the growth of the second head, so keep watering and caring for your broccoli. You wanna cut off the main head, or the crown as it's often called. But when you make the cut, make sure it's above the smaller heads, because obviously you want them to keep growing. Also, make sure the head is nice and compact. You don't want it flowering, because that means you've waited too long and the flavor's not gonna be as good. As is the case for many vegetables, like roots for instance, the broccoli leaves are edible. In fact, they actually make good wraps. Another thing you wanna pay attention to is the color of the crown. You wanna make sure it's a nice dark green. You don't want all those little flowering heads to be yellow, because that means they're about to flower. And again, that's too long and the taste won't be as good. There you have it, how to plant and harvest your own broccoli. Ah, oh, so nutritious. For a deeper dive into all the nutrients in broccoli, there is of course a link below. And if you want a brief history of broccoli, who doesn't love the origin story of your favorite vegetable? There's also a link below for that. To gain a better understanding of the vocabulary that I've thrown at you on this video and in the lessons, there's a couple games I wanna draw your attention to online. Kahoot and quizzes. I'll give you links below, but they're interactive. The students get to use their phones as the game is projected on the screen for all to see. It's competitive, it's fun. And if you haven't got enough, there's additional resources down there. There's a link to three more lessons on Flipgrid. It's an online platform where it's interactive. You take in the lessons, then you produce your own videos using the knowledge you've gained. Also, there's links to more videos down there. Some deal with raising crops in Arizona and others give you tips on soil and the basics of gardening. Have fun, see you next time.